Explaining service design can be challenging. Here's an idea that might make it a lot easier. One of the things I learn in, I teach in my Selling Service Design with Confidence course is to start the explanation by uh, leveraging something that somebody already is familiar with. And in one of the previous videos, we talked about music. And I think music is something all of us can relate to. So music and service design, how can we use that to connect these two? Well, if you think about the individual touch points in a service, then service design is the thing that uh, connects all these touch points. So if the individual touch points are musicians, then service design is the thing that makes sure that all those individual musicians uh, together create something that's actually enjoyable. Uh, but service design goes much further. Service design is also the thing that makes sure that the lighting guys know what to do and that the venue is um, properly uh, set up and that the lights are working. So service design helps to create the entire performance. That's how I uh, think about service and service design. What is the takeaway here? Well, I think if you're struggling to explain service design, think of analogies that you can use that people already know and music for works really well for me. So the next time you need to explain service design, think about, you just use music. Talk about the front stage, talk about the backstage, talk about the venue, talk about the musicians and just see what happens. In this next video, I talk about how service design and jazz work together because uh, there are so many analogies and we can borrow a lot of language from the music world to actually explain service design in a way that more people understand. So click this video and I'll see you over there.